students today let us see a problem in the topic discrete sorry predicate calculus that comes in the subject discrete mathematics let me read the question we are given two statements statement formulas with uh, specifically they are quantified statements p of x conditional q of x and p of x one statement is quantified with universal quantifier other statement is quantified with existential quantifier for all x p of x conditional q of x there x is x p of x these two when combined you will get a conclusion there x is x q of x this is what we are supposed to prove so the solution i divide split the column uh, answer into four columns first column step second column statement calculus statement formula third column rule and fourth column justification so first of all let me introduce the simplest premise with very few uh, without any connective so here we are having conditional connective here there is no connective so let me introduce this premise there x is x p of x so there x is x p of x i introduce now this premise is introduced so we don't need any justification so i just uh, i don't put any justification here now i told you first to remove the quantifier for removing quantifier we are having two rules rule us rule es for all x quantifier rule us there x is x quantifier rule es so here there x is x quantifier so i am going to use rule es when i use rule es i replace x by english alphabet a p of a so this is done rule es is applied for the step uh, statement formula in step 1 this is the justification i am giving now next one i am going to use another uh, premise given for all x p of x conditional q of x this is the next premise given so let me introduce that another premise for all x p of x conditional q of x this is the next premise given so this is introduced using rule p i don't need any justification and again if you look at the rules when we are having for all x rule, quantifier that quantifier shall be removed by rule us when we remove we shall use greek letter so i am going to remove this quantifier using greek letter p of alpha conditional q of alpha so this step is obtained using rule us for the step 3 now i am going to combine these two statement p comma p conditional q so by this time you should be very fluent in applying the rules what rule we are going to apply mod exponents or mod exponents or disjunctive syllogism here we are having conditional statement so we have to apply mod exponents or mod exponents when the left hand side comes separately we have to apply mod exponents when we apply mod exponents we will get the right hand side as the conclusion right hand side is q so q will come as a conclusion what about the argument whether we are going to get english alphabet or greek letter so in the last lecture video i have told you one thing to uh, you should keep it in mind when we are having two statements one with english other with greek letter the conclusion statement will be dominated by english alphabet so the conclusion statement will come, will be dominated by english alphabet a now uh, in the conclude conclusion statement we are having quantifier so i am going to remove this english alphabet by x and i am going to adjoin quantifier so that can be done by rule eg whenever we are having english alphabet i can adjoin existential quantifier whenever i am having greek letter i can adjoin it by universal quantifier so here if you are having english alphabet we shall replace it with existential we can adjoin an existential quantifier that is what i am going to do so q of a is going to be written as q of x and i am going to adjoin a quantifier add a quantifier a when i am having english alphabet i can uh, add existential quantifier so this is done by rule eg existential generalization for the previous statement in step 5 this is what the justification i gave 
so that's all about the pro let us continue in the next class